Coming in no, this morning. Can they make it by the end of the show? You can do no. the end of the show. No, I don't know, maybe. 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 Don't know. Good morning maybe. to you. Welcome to Going Live, and a big welcome to Robbie from Take That. Our hey, guest I'm really nervous, morning. me. No, you're not. You're going to be fine. Do you reckon? It? Yeah, isn't it? Anyway, Absolutely. I reckon I will be fine because today on North South East West competition, I'm giving away a ticket which enables you and a friend to go to the cinema free for a whole year. Free for a whole free year. Free for a whole year to see what. What a prize! Wants. Well, you can stay with us for the morning. Do you want to know what else is happening? Yes, tell us. Sir. Well, I'll tell you. The Grange Hill camp, but it's no trouble for him to come into the Going Live studios today. That's my link. I made that up myself. <laughs> Onto Claire and me. Um, and this one here, this is Claire, yeah. right? That is Julie, and that is Callie. Welcome. Hi. We we have all met before, actually, haven't we? We did the what's it called? Children's Royal Variety yeah. before. I mean, Kelly met at the fast forward fund. That's right, yeah. Isn't it? Uh, um, enough of this show busy type of thing that I'm doing. <laughs> it. Uh, what I wanted to ask you was what did I want to ask you? Let's see. Ah. I was looking at the clip before and it shows that like there's all doom and gloom and a lot of sad things going on. Does it pick up towards the end of the series? Yeah. Well, um, for my character especially, uh, the, the last episode is like my main episode. Because you, you're, you're homeless, aren't you? Yeah, I am now. Well, I will be. Uh -huh. And. Uh, there's, there's a lot that's going to happen more to me where um, once they find out about the video and everything. Um, mm -hmm. But at the end, the last episode, everything's happy. You happening. all get us back together, don't you? Yeah, I get. I, I saw He's everyone the one out. that unites us all together in the end. Uh -huh. On the moment. You're the uniter. I am, yes. I was watching last night's program and it's like, it's really sad. I mean, do, <laughs> do you think that like kids, the kids have gone to school all day and they've been sitting in French doing the work and everything and they're sitting and they, and they come home, the mum does, does some rubbish tea and they turn Grain Jill on and people are dying. <laughs> people are oh. dying, and it's it's all sad. Do you think do you think that it's like a good thing to have after you've come from school and you're feeling a bit depressed? Because I was watching it all through last night. As I say, it was really depressing actually. Oh. There's people crying. <laughs> Polish people crying. Um, I think um, a lot of kids have uh, have their own problems anyway. Yeah. So when they see that um, ev everyone else it. everyone else has problems, I, you know, it's just one of them things. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. yeah. And as you can see. Claire, let me get this right, and Julie are actually twins, if you haven't noticed at home. There you go. What a picture that is, aren't you good? You two. <laughs> what I wanted to ask you was, um, is your relationship similar to the one on screen, off screen? I think that's yeah. what I No, no, not at all. Is it not? No. Do you hate and each it, other? We, no, we no, get on really well. We get on really well. Uh -huh. I mean, everyone has their arguments, but... I can, I, can, I can remember doing the children over variety performance, and at one point you've got a hair and you've given it. No, that in a face. you lie, you're lying. You're lying. <laughs> you're lying. No, I saw you. I saw you. I had to set my bodyguard going, <laughs> sort them out. No, yeah. no. We get on really well. Uh -huh. And just one thing before we go away. I just wanted to know which football teams you support. Tottenham, Arsenal. Tottenham, Arsenal, and QPR. QPR. Well, <laughs> the man. I've got to say that actually they're all going to lose today. No tomorrow. chance. Uh, there is. No I mean, Q QPR. Yeah. What's that? Which cameraman here? Where's the red? QPR. Why? <laughs> <laughs> and, and Spurs. No, I'm not Spurs. I'm Arsenal. You're... So she, <laughs> and she admits it. How long have we got again? Sorry. Fifteen. Okay. So if you want to phone Grange Hill people later on, you can phone them on 081 811 81. Eight one, but now you can uh, sit back and relax and chill out to the sounds of the chipmunks. Yeah. See you later. Mm. Mm. Brilliant, the chipmunks. Do you like them? Yeah. Do you like Pirates of Dark Water? I think it's brilliant. Well, that's good because we've got that coming up a little bit later on Sorry, this morning, yeah. about ten o'clock. And here's what else we've got for you. I thought about maybe pairing up, take that and girlfriend. You know, five aside matches and things well, like actually, that. Actually, I much prefer jamming. Come here, Jan. Oh. This is my. I love her. I love her, even though she's married. We've, still got, we've, got, we've got a scoop because apparently all of Take That want to marry a floor assistant, Gemma. Gemma, how, how would you feel about that? Oh, marvelous. So she's she's not married. I was going to say, how would your husband feel about it? Oh, I think he'd be yeah, very happy. Yeah. I think there are a lot of fans are very glad that you're married. Actually, um, I think we ought to go and cool down now. At least you ought to. Do you like Kathy Dennis? I love Kathy Dennis. Miss Good. Well, she's falling right now. Here she is. <laughs> Prize and it is a gold ticket. This is a white ticket, and that enables you and a friend to go to the cinema, any UCI cinema that is of your choice, for free for a whole year. I'm going to be showing you Chris Rea's latest video, which is called Soft Top, Hard Shoulder, and you've got to answer a question about it. Wow. The, the, the question will be coming up during the video. All you have to do is ring this number 0891 800 383. That's 0891 800 383. Leave your answer, your name, your telephone number.
including the code. Oh, by the way, the call will cost no more than 20 pence. Don't forget to ask permission before you use the phone. Now, I'll be announcing the four lucky winners later on in the programme. Sarah will be reviewing the latest films at half past ten, but here is that said video, and it's soft top, hard shoulder. Watch out for the question, y'all. Here it comes. From later on in the series, I do believe. Yes. First of all, welcome back to you all. Are you ready to take some phone calls? Yeah, why not? I'll tell you what, they've been getting mad in there, there's been that many phone calls, so we should get straight on with it, should we, yeah? And who's on line one? Claire Juniper. Kate, sorry. Claire Juniper. Kate Juniper, that's the one. Claire! Claire <laughs> Juniper. Nice name. Oh. Where are you from, Claire? Abbey Woods. Abbey Woods. Go on, bang away with your question. In a year's time, I'll be going to secondary school. Will you please tell me if Grand Hill is realistic to life? Um. Well, we, we're restricted in actually what we can and can't do. Um, I mean, it's as close as what you can get. Uh, there is, like, bullying and stuff like that that does go on. Um, but, but you know, uh, you just got to be aware of that and just carry on with your life, really. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the question, Claire. Now we'll go to the studio. And first of all, it's Helen. Helen, what's your question? Um, do you act and behave like your characters in your real school? Good question. <laughs> Or in your case, did you used to? Act? Did I used to? Yeah. Uh, I was slightly worse than my character, I think, personally. <laughs> oh. um, I, I was expelled three times, so Were I you? suppose. Not a very good oh, example. Hey, 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 yeah. come on! Leave me alone, leave me alone. That's not gone down very well with the studio, I <laughs> But I'm not, I was nice. It wasn't my fault. Parents will I was be misunderstood. Up Can we go to another line? This is. How, how would you answer that question? Well, we, I mean, were you, were you like it at school? Um, well, I was, I was good, wasn't I? I, was, yeah. I behaved really well and I always done my work and everything. I'm I did. sure. I, no, I I'm did. Sure. I honestly did. She was the naughty I was, I was naughty, but I'm not... Like, in Grange Hill, I'm really nasty, but I'm not, uh -huh. I'm not like that in real life. She wasn't nasty. nasty. She was Don't nice believe person. her. She's painting this picture uh. that she's a really nice person. <laughs> but she wouldn't nice even lend me the money for a cup of tea earlier on and I'm not having it. <laughs> right, we'll go to the next line. On line two, who's there? Carter. Hello, Stephanie Carter. Hello, Where are you calling Robin. from? And I'm Grange Hill. Hi. Right. Right. I've got a twin sister called Pippa. And we're always fighting over men. I'm take that. And we want to know what you fight over. What are you fighting over us for? We're not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're your biggest fans. Oh, all right, then. All right, then. What's your answer to that question? Um, we don't really fight over things no. like we that. We used to, when we was like, younger, we used to not fight or nothing, but we just used to like argue and anything. We fight over well, stupid things, really. Yeah. We don't have a big, great big fight. We just argue, just like picky things. Like the normal relationship. Yeah, just like anyone else. I can like. remember when my sister, like you know, she used to tickle me to death when I was younger, and now I'm like six foot one, and she's re really little. And <laughs> like, when I go home, I beat you up, don't I, Sal? <laughs> <laughs> Where am I going to? I'm going. Yeah, I'm going to Gemma. Gemma, are you Gemma? What is your question, Gemma? Um, you cover a lot of adult and controversial subjects on Grand Hill, like the teenage pregnancy. Um, do you ever worry that you could be wrongly influencing younger viewers to be like the heroes? Good question. Well, no, not really, because our script writers, they take a lot of responsibility for the storylines. and They do so much research. I mean, before they go around, they go to schools and that, don't they? They go to schools and talk to the children. Yeah. And There's about eight months research goes into like before they actually the whole agree year. to a big storyline like the teenage pregnancy. And normally they take on a, a major uh, thing um, every two years. That's the a major, they don't, a major controversial thing only every two years. They won't do it every year because it's it, so much research. there's so much research needs doing to it. Yeah, you seem as though you've rehearsed the answer actually. Do, do you think you're going <laughs> to we have rehearsed it in yeah. the cover too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> David Abel is doing that. Absolutely. And now we're going to line four, is it? Line three. Who's on line three? Cheryl Phillips. Hello, Cheryl. Where are you calling from? Strood in Kent. Strood in Kent. So what's your question? Would you like, this is to all of them, would you like to all be in the situations in which you portray in Grange Hill? Ooh, Ooh. that's a tricky one. I wouldn't. No, definitely not. Mm -hmm. How about you, Cam? Um, no, I, I, I like my home life too much. I, yeah, I couldn't handle. Because you're homeless, in this. Yeah, I, I can't. I couldn't really handle like you know what I mean. Having a brother like mine who beats up, beats me up and stuff. Uh -huh. I, I couldn't handle that. He's terrible, him. Oh, Why yeah. you give him a crack one <laughs> he day. He does my head in. I tell you. Yeah, I, I know. I've seen him hit it. <sighs> and Julie. Me. Um. No, I think my my character's really boring. She's like. You, well, she's, I can say that. Yeah, she's. <laughs> I'll tell you, you come, on, you come on the screen and I fall asleep, me. I'm sorry about that. It's, um, it's true, she's always moaning. I'm only joking. All the time she's moaning, so uh, I don't think I'd like to. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get another question now from Michael. And there's Michael. 
Why do, you, away, son. why do you think the show has lasted so long? Because it's good. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> there you go. I that. Uh, in a nutshell. Um, well, I think because um, it, it, it's to do with schools. You've got uh, a new audience every year. Mm -hmm. Like now, the us three have left. The end of this year is our last series, and we leave, and a new first year begin. And of course, it's something that everybody can relate to. Everyone can relate to, to, school. to as well. Mm -hmm. So it's like you know. I mean, everybody loses their home at school, don't they nowadays? That's something. I can't that. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go to another line, and this is line four. Who's on line four? Charlotte Goff. Hello, Charlotte. Hello, Robbie. Where are you from, Charlotte? London. What's your question, Charlotte? <laughs> um, for Kelly. Uh huh. Okay. I went to see you play at a charity football match in, at Crystal Palace football that was good, ground. Wasn't it? Although you lost, you were very good. Do you play a lot of football in your spare time? Um, nice question. I try and play as much charity football as I can because um, charity. Yeah, do you do yeah, a, lot a, lot of, a lot of work for charity, charity mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, I do. I play football most Sundays, um, even though I'm not very good. Well, um, position but Kelly's, Kelly's paid this girl because Kelly's just terrible. At hey, listen. Have you got a little sister or something? Yeah, I think very so. Yeah. No, even I, though you were very good. <laughs> listen, I, I scored. We played Biker Grove, and I scored. Let, uh -huh. let me let. That's the only goal I've ever scored in my anybody, life. Anybody, anybody can score. score against Biker Grove. Yeah, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I played the whole cast of Biker Grove by myself. All the hundred of them. I scored five goals against them, <laughs> and they were lucky to get one. <laughs> Right, who are we going? We're going to ask uh, James in the studio. I'll look down so you can ask your question, mate. Uh, do you like to watch yourself on TV? Uh, no, I hate it. Mm. I just Everybody went up says there. that. I love I it, me. I, was, I, like watch, I hate watching it when I was ages ago, like in the early episodes. I hate going back and watching the past, like all the uh, early episodes. I hate, I hate when there's like a, a scene which I know I did bad. Uh -huh. And you think, oh no, I'm going to have to watch this. And, I, and then you just watch it and you think, yeah, it was bad. Uh -huh. That was terrible. <laughs> that happens to me all the time, but you know. <laughs> I just, I'm just checking my hair, me. I don't care what I say. Is it, do we look all right? Let's check the profile. Yeah. <laughs> check the profile, yeah, I look all right. Are we going back to the lines? OK, on line five, who is it? Simon Riley. Hi, Simon. Where are you calling from, mate? I'm calling from Olympia. Olympia? Yeah. Where's that? It's in London. Oh, right. Yeah. Sorry. Go out of Stoke on Trent, I'm lost. <laughs> what's your question, mate? Right, what's the best thing about working on Grange Hill? Mm. It's the money, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, we're like a check. family, really. We get on really well. Uh -huh. You get to meet not, a lot of people through working yeah. on Grange Hill, don't you, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like you. Like, like yeah, it's because yeah. I'm pop personality. Yeah. yeah. Well, one of those pop personalities that you meet occasionally. Yeah. Right, can I, have I got time to do another, another studio question? And it's Lisa, and you, you must be Lisa down there. Be sending any Valentine's cards this year? I certainly will. Yeah. Go on, send us. Send us. Send us. Oh, I've got, I've, I've, well, I've got a boyfriend. Go on, Tim. So no. So what's your boyfriend's name? Go on, send us. Oh the beans. no! Spill <laughs> the beans. Uh, Declan, I'll be sending him one, and I think I might even send Rolf Harris one as well. Ooh, hey, hey. Yeah, because we want to back and sing on his new new song. Yeah. Don't we we want to back and sing his new song. Sorry. We want to back and sing on Rolf Harris's new song. I'll do it. We want to be there. Oh, you want to be there. <laughs> Who are you going to be sending there? Um, well, I'll be sending one. You'll be sending I'll one. I'll be sending definitely. one to someone, yeah. And you, Cal, quick. Yeah, I'll be sending one to my girlfriend. You'll be sending one to yeah. you. Yeah. They're all, they're all attached. It's not fair. Anyway, thank you, thank you very much for coming in. Thank thank you. It's been wonderful talking to you. And now we're going to go to the Pirates of Dark Water. In this week's episode, the search for the hidden treasure continues. Here it comes. <laughs> We were just watching the credits go through, Tory Pirates. I have to say, if we're being absolutely honest, our eyes were only half on Pirates of Dark Water. Well, we had a good excuse, though. Yeah, because we're actually watching Tom. Blimey, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. you can, can we hold this up so far, so good? We've got two. We're in through the front door. Can you see? Can you... We've got the mermaid here. Yeah. So yeah. Squid, and we've got uh, Trevor and Simon's hairy armpit and <laughs> Joy Watt. <laughs> that, that's, that's Paul. It is, yeah. Is, is no, that's Paul you. Like... That's that, you, Robbie. Is that me? By the end of the show. I look rough. <laughs> <laughs> Looking great. So we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on that, see how it's going later on in the programme. Of course, you can win it as well. And what's still to come then, eh? Ooh, all what sorts do you think, of eh? things. Hey? All oh. sorts of things. All up, yeah, but... we are all going out because uh, it must be true. Linda Duff wrote it in the star. Oh, well, there you are. Yeah. Then. It's, it's absolutely a five -a -side true. It's a five-a-side hockey match, wasn't it? It's uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse no, me a second. Tom, can right. I just creep past here See because we've got a very in important a bit, moment coming up here. See you oh, later. Oh, yes, a very, very important toe, moment. The moment, really, that you can go to any UCI cinema throughout the land, free of charge for a whole year. And the winners are from the north, Timothy Sowell from Glasgow from the south, Christy Inglis from Raynham in Essex.
from the east, Jessica Walker from Mount Mowbray from the west, Roy Cardinal from Preston, that's Broughton in Preston, and now, oh, and the question was, did I do the question? No, I didn't. The question was, which river throw, flows through Glasgow? And it is Gordon. That's right, the River Clyde. And all of those people there got it absolutely correct. Now, this is a sneak preview of what's on next week. You may, you may gasp in amazement, because in fact, straight from Anthea Turner's flat, it is uh, Tracy Island. And what do we say when we see Tracy Island? We say, Thunderbird, go. Yes. Uh, blimey, that's good. Let's, let's go again. But that is all for next week. And I'll be on next week, of course, with the rest of the lads from Take That's a tune in for that. But now we've got a clip, and it's a video of five girls from Australia who've been taken everywhere apart from England by storm. And they are called... <laughs> How long have I got left? Five. OK, this is Girlfriend, and they take us around shopping in London. See